Hey guys, Sean here from Outcast Angler. So this morning I'm going to take you through the uh, Hobie Lynx and the active target install that I've done to it. So the key thing I wanted to achieve with an active target install on the Lynx is to have it all removable. Um, I think one of the key advantages of the Hobie Lynx is you can really strip it down for transport, for storage and to build up exactly how you wanted to do it. So I didn't really want to add anything permanent to the kayak itself. I wanted it to be all removable from the kayak if I choose so. So let's get into it and I'll show you how I've done it. Okay. So we'll start with the transducer. This is the active target transducer here. And as you can see, I've got two ram mounts. One ram mount is purely to support the transducer through um, transport when I'm kicking around the place, getting to the spot I want to check out. And that's held on by a Hobie clamp. And it's just got a claw here that I undo and that just supports the transducer at this end. The other end, I've got the exact same thing. Got a Hobie clamp, got a C-size ram mount. And then it comes out to this transducer poles Australia pole that I've had made up for it. So Rob from Transducer Poles Australia does a really nice job of these. Super easy to use, really effective when you're on the water. So that's what I've got there. And it's simply, like as you can see, clamp on, clamp off. So if you've used the Hobie, Hobie attachments, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. Keep going along. And basically you can see I've hidden everything in the Hobie crate. Um, this switch here is to literally turn my active tar target transducer or module, sorry, on and off. And I'll just shuffle my rods over the other side here and show you what I've done. So in the Hobie crate itself, this is where the brains are. And this is what helps make it removable from, from the kayak. As you can see there, I've got my sonar module. I'll just, just throw in this and have a good look. There's the sonar module. Okay, AT module. I've got two batteries, one for my sounder, one for my active target transducer system, and I've got a heap of cabling which I've just tied out of the way. Um, both batteries are fused, just running blade fuses in both. So all the cables and everything come in and out of this box. And what that allows me to do is literally just four straps, disconnect the Hobie crate and disconnect the sounder and the transducer off the kayak, whack it in the car, and I'm good to go. Lynx is all, all stripped down, ready to go. Okay, so just on the other side here, just maneuvered the kayak around. So there you go, once again, that's just the inside of the box. Power cable for my um, FS9 unit. Just move this life jacket out of the way. So yeah, I've got a power cable. I've got my Ethernet cable, and then I've got my 3-in-1 transducer cable. But we'll get back to that. So they all just route up the rail. I've just got some Velcro there. Route up the rail to another clamp, another RAM bracket, and then my display itself. Just have a little look around the back of it. There you go. So I just blanked off what I'm not using. That's pretty pretty sturdy on there. Haven't had any issues at all. Okay, so I like my sounder nice and, and close and quite low. So that's why it's fairly close to the seat um, and within its arms reach or what I want to do. I'll get back to that 3-in-1 transducer cable. Got all the cabling, runs up here. The excess is actually just sitting in the back of the seat. That's because I choose not to take the Stream One's transducer off. And then it runs down just through that center hole there, down to the transducer itself. So I'll throw some cutaway footage in of the transducer install. It's literally like one screw and you can pull the transducer and the cover and everything in and out. So. For transport and stuff if i wanted it out i could definitely take it out in like 20 seconds it doesn't take long at all but i choose to leave it there it doesn't affect me for what i'm doing and and whatnot so that works out pretty good right hey so hope you enjoyed that quick little video on how i've put active target onto the hobie links 
Initially, I didn't think it was something that I would add to the links, but in some certain situations when I'm chasing bass in the dam or um, I'm gonna go work a specific piece of structure, it's nice to be able to grab the active target system and just add it in um, as I need to for any trip that I wanna do. And like I said earlier, it's super quick to remove. Like I time myself taking everything off. It might've taken me like three or four minutes, if that. So I was very, very happy with the install and it works really well. So thanks for tuning back in the channel. Hope this gives you some ideas on what you can do with your own kayak and I'll catch you on the next adventure. See yous.